Hey, if I make strong here, we have here the Feiyu Flock Pocket and the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. We are comparing these two and uh, yeah, there is of course the design of these two are very similar. They kind of are copying or have copied the Snopper Atom, but I couldn't get my hands on the Snopper Atom. So I'm going to compare these two because these two are still quite easy to find or to buy this. So uh, I'm going to try these two out and see which one is better. The Vlog Pocket is actually really pocketable and you can just put it into your pocket. The DJI kind of fits in, but you still need to put the tripod in a different pocket. One thing I'm going to make clear, I'm not going to talk about the apps because literally uh, in real life, I've never used the apps when I'm filming with my phone. I literally always uh, start filming and just move uh, to get a chip shot, slider shot and walking shot. I'm just going to turn here on use the standard camera app here and here we have the trigger so does it yes takes photo and also trigger here starts the video so really nice just use the standard camera app and start stop recording and also take photo the mobile free does not have this feature this is a really nice feature for a lot of uh, people who just only use the standard camera app because that is the fastest uh, app to just directly open up so the head is now really changed however there is a lot of limitations so there is a, uh, a rotation limit pan limitation tilt limitation and also um, this uh, yeah roll limitation to show you the tilt limit, I'm now holding the trigger to activate the lock mode and now tilting it and you can see it tilts from a certain angle. This also is an issue on the Feiyu Vlog Pocket. However, when we actually tilt it back, it tilts it back on its own. Also, um, you cannot do like your standard jib shot. So um, yeah, normally you have it locked down and you move it like this up or down. And you can uh, normally also put a monopod and then easily do a jib shot. But now because the new method is holding it like this, putting the grip sideways, moving it like this to get your jib shot. But the main thing is I need to move my arm like this and I'm mainly moving a muscle that I normally would not move. And that is something uh, that just makes it very unergonomic and also for your uh, slider shot you are also holding it uh, like a side grip and moving it left and right let's talk about the modes on the mobile 3 it's standard on full follow mode if we double press the mode button we go into portrait mode and double press we go out of the portrait mode and if we hold down the trigger we go into the lock mode here with the vlog pocket and right off the bat I do like the mode on here because we have it standard on pen follow uh, we have also uh, a actual lock so we can press on here and we now on in lock mode and we also have a full follow by using this trigger and also pressing the mode button twice we go into the portrait mode to access the pen follow mode on the DJI you need to use the app but to avoid that I had to continuously hold down the trigger to go into the lock mode to avoid accidentally tilting when walking. Because of this I noticed that the trigger is quite hard and it actually puts quite a strain on your hand holding it continuously. Even though holding the DJI with both hands and walking as smooth as possible there's quite a noticeable roll axis shake in the footages. While using the Feiyu with a single hand walking a more normal pace, it was doing a much better job and also the motors feels much stronger on the Feiyu. Now vlogging style using the Vlog Pocket, I'm holding here the Mobile 3 and yeah the thing I'm holding it on the grip and also it looks very nice and stable and uh, other thing is uh, because it has this Bluetooth, I'm using just the standard camera app of my phone so I can easily trigger it without touching my phone and uh, yeah, let's now switch over to the Mobile 3 Okay, so now I'm using the Osmo Mobile 3 and you might have seen my hand just uh, touching my phone uh, that is because yeah, there is no trigger for uh, triggering the onboard camera so I need to use my finger to touch it so that might be a, um, yeah, maybe a 
something that in the edit you always need to be careful about or when you're filming yourself that you always take a few seconds that you press the screen and then start talking but the main thing is uh, yeah I'm using the same setup just my phone with the smart lab for the audio and uh, you can see how stable this is and yeah um, pretty much this um, yeah not much to talk about it looks nice and stable and uh, yeah for vlogging this is not much of an issue just only like if I need to stop and start I need to touch the screen again so another thing that I've noticed with the vlog pocket is that the panning speed is actually really fast so with the Osmo Mobile 3 it actually can't really follow me that fast so let's change to the Mobile 3 and yeah the panning of it is rather slow so you can see that uh, yeah it's trying to catch up instead of uh, yeah it's just too slow to uh, follow me while well, with the frog pocket it was able to do that rotation what I did just and it does it much better than the mobile free another thing I need to talk about is would I go for these new collapsible head designs I would have to say no because the angle limitation uh, not having the 360 roll and especially the weird ergonomic for doing a slider shot and a jib shot and I can't even do my own signature shot of uh, putting it onto a long monopod and doing like a fake drone shot moving it from uh, low to high getting a really cool jib shot just is not worth it uh, getting these gimbals uh, like if you have to choose between these two i would say go for the feiyu it's inexpensive a lot cheaper it has like the modes uh, that i can directly access without needing to use a phone app and also it can trigger the standard camera app it makes it much easier to use much faster to use and also uh, making you uh, not miss your shots and just it's also much smaller to travel with so that was mainly it if you have any questions please comment below and if you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos please hit that subscribe button here below and i'll see you next time bye bye